I just love the sound of a babbling brook and the sight of green grass and amazing RCs with a huge blanket of snow in behind. What the heck? Look at this. Can you believe that half of it has already melted? We had a huge snowfall the other day and I figured before it all melts away, I might as well get out my Traxxas 6x6 and take it up and down the creek, see how it does. Now, if we're gonna have a cold creek adventure, we may as well start in the creek, almost floating away. Thankfully, this is a six by six, which means it has three axles with all six tires being locked, so they're driven. So six wheel drive. Now, if they were able to turn all of them, they would be a six by six by six. Beautiful. I really like the tire choice here, like the, the wheels look fantastic. Oh, here we go with a great opportunity for some good scale shots here. So I always have a rule when I'm trying to get scale footage. As fast as necessary, but as slow as possible. Look at the articulation, wow. I'm loving that. Oh, a little rough. Could get my crawl on a little slower. I find that whenever I'm out driving, you know, like around the city or in the country or wherever I am, I'm always looking for new places to crawl my RC. I want to know if you're watching the video right now and you have the ability to comment and you do trail RCs, are you also on the hunt for new areas as well? I know I have been for years, right? That's how I, I discover and sometimes I find it hard not to, to be seeking new places whenever I'm visiting somewhere new. And do I dare to go too deep even though I don't have a snorkel? Well, it is just for imagination, so let's see how deep we can go here and still recover the truck. Still driving, hood's under, still getting signal. Yes, I love waterproof trucks, especially in the winter when I get tons of snow. Thankfully, it is not even freezing outside. It's a very comfortable temperature right now, enjoyable to be out crunching around. Some of you guys are watching in your super hot places right now, sweltering it out, and I'm here feeling nice and chilled out. Of course, the grass is always greener on the other side. Don't they say that? Amazing, just chewing through it. Articulation, quite a bit of drop. Just such a nice looking machine. Lots of traction from the back, but it looks like I got myself high centered. I'll back out of it. Take a different line, a little bit further over. Just so you guys get a good view of what's going on here. Whoa, starting to go a little sideways, but a long chassis definitely helps you with your center of gravity. Now are we gonna get swept away? Gets deep awful fast. Powering through with those locked differentials. I love that. So one thing about Optimus Overkill, you guys saw me build Overkill a long time ago into a six by six by six. It is able to go anywhere. This is a water I don't want it swept away in. I don't want to have to go in after it today, that's for sure. Oh, getting deep, look at this. <laughs> now can I save it? How would I save a vehicle like this, right? 
that's on its side, not quite tipped over, which way would you turn the wheels to get out of it and which way would you want to go? Myself, I'm going to actually turn into it. Oh, I have no signal. <laughs> My receiver must be under the water. Yeah, there's signal now. That's too bad. I would have turned into it and backed up. So I'm gonna have to move my receiver wire a little bit so I can have signal. Look at this, I still have it, still have it. That's a good test though. Hmm, I thought we were gonna be able to do a lesson there. Not today. Here, it's pretty stable. Like, as you can see, it totally is going on its side, but it's not wanting to flip over. It's just I got onto a super steep, slippery rock. <laughs> Shall we get some speed on? We've seen a lot of crawling. Let's get our speed on here. Woohoo! That's not scale driving! <laughs> Nope, but it's fun. Oh, getting deep. <laughs> Want to make sure it's not in there too far. I'll get stuck and have to get it. Come on, baby, drive back. Yeah, glad I didn't get high centered. You can see the heat on the ESC is starting to make it a little humidity inside the cab. Hilarious. That shows you the contrast of what's going on. What a great day, just to get outside and have fun. Let all the worries wash away. Let them go down the creek. Just me and the RC. Those headlights and those top lights, they look fantastic. I love that they come pre-installed on this rig. Look at this goo. This goes through it no problemo. Someone leaving on a plane for warmer places. Have fun. You guys ever run your RCs in the water? Like, you, are you like water babies like me? Anytime I see water, I'm like, I gotta take my RC in there. It's definitely why waterproof or buy waterproofed ones. It's never like a protection against all damage, you know, I'm always gonna rust up the bearings eventually, but mud and water, they're just fun to play around in. A little faster. Might as well do some speed crawling through the water here. Not a comfortable ride for those inside, but more of a test. Look at that, no problem at all. Over high spots and everything. And right back to where we started. Well, there you go guys, what do you think? A few years ago, in my opinion, Trax has killed it with the TRX4, uh, and now they've come at us again with the TRX6. 
This is an amazing machine for a, red, a ready to run, an RTR. A little on the pricey side, but I think for what you're getting, again, it just enables you to go outside and to have a great time with a hobby that I love so much. I'm sure you guys do too. Smash that like button for Traxxas and their innovation and for a great uh, trail run on the river. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have fun with RC. You know I always do. Bye-bye.